Hello, so this is Akanesha Puff, and today I will be discussing why you should save Pillow in Teapot 10. So, after Teapot 9, Pillow got a lot of hate. People blamed her for just not loss, and people seemed to treat her as if the only aspect of her personality was killing. However, Teapot 10 clearly shows more to her. Her reaction after Belle points out that she lost the challenge, and that Teardrop lost, and she died too, is interesting. Notice how bothered, upset, or whatnot she seems. And in scenes shortly after this, we see Pillow's expression, looking distressed. Is she upset about her research being wrong? Interesting that even after Just Nat lost the challenge, Pillow was still interested in figuring out what brings good luck. We see Pillow's research in the first episode in which she was a contestant, BFB1. We also see it in other episodes, such as BFB6, Teapot 2, Teapot 7, and Teapot 8. How does Pillow feel about her research? Is it something that she values a lot? Something that is important to her? Notice that during the challenge, Pillow seems interested in what causes good luck. She tries various things. Where did these ideas come from? Did she come up with them on her own? If so, the damaging the environment idea seems like something she would enjoy. In Teapot 7, we also see her interest in destruction. Or we damage it more! All in favor, say I. But in other things she tries, notice how happy she seems, smiling, from things that are not related to death, pain, or destruction. Also, notice how she refers to her teammates. My acid test dummy and my explosion machine! No picture book though! Saying acid test dummy instead of price tag, explosion machine instead of bombi, picture book instead of book. How is she viewing her teammates? Did she view them and think of them as people? objects, or did she just view them as items, as playthings? Notice that she pushes price tag to say hi to Book. She does not go to say hi to her herself, and how she moves Taggy seems like something Pillow would do. She says, I don't care. Go do it now. Sort of like this from Teapot 6. Don't care. Bye, Bobby. Not caring, but in Teapot 10, it is a situation that is not related to killing. Earlier in the episode, Book suggests that Pillow do a good deed, and she says, Yuck! Fine! But she still does it. She throws up Pillow Fluff after Book says that perhaps maybe doing a good deed worked. But later, with the stuff about being kind to Book, she at least appears to not show disgust, even if she did not say hi to Book herself. Now, you might think, even if Pillow was good in Teapot 10, what about her other episodes? Well, there's more to her than killing even in those episodes. Earlier I mentioned episodes in which we see her research, other things she has done. In Teapot 4 she plays the oil chess. She seems quite skilled in moving the pieces around. In Teapot 5 she messes with gravity, and she gets a plate. Also notice incidences in which others quickly believe her research. In BFB 1, with the arm fluttering theory, in Teapot 8, with the idea of hanging from the balance beam, also, look at her research from that episode. Interesting, huh? In Teapot 8, she says to Robot Flower, Excuse me, Robot Flower! Now, do your violent tendencies come from something deep within? Or is it just for fun? This is interesting. Pillow asking this question. Maybe we will figure out why Pillow is the way that she is. What might have her past been? Is she just this way because? Or did anything influence her? If you pay close attention to Pillow, you may notice little things about her. As mentioned before, her expression in scenes shortly after Belle mentioning that Pillow lost, and Teardrop dying and her losing. Notice that she mocks Book in Teapot 1 and Cake in Teapot 8, and several instances in which she does not seem to mind or perhaps even enjoy uncomfortable or painful situations. Consider that in Teapot 1 she smiles as the elevator bounces, a different reaction than others on Just Not. In Teapot 3, her smiling after being pulled by Robot Flower and on the ground. In the Teapot 6 stinger, foreign decks are killing contestants, and while most of them seem distressed, Pillow is one of the few who is smiling. And Teapot 10, Black Hole sucks up members of Death Pact, and while others look unhappy, Pillow is smiling. While this was just a Pillow and Black Hole stream, it is still noteworthy, I think. These are not the only examples. But with this analysis aside, in my opinion at least, Pillow is a silly and enjoyable character. You do not have to have a bunch of logical reasons why you like a character. 
You can like a character for their enjoyability. So, save Pillow by voting A on the Google form. Please consider liking this video, commenting on it, and sharing it. Do it for Pillow, and please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye!